What do you want me to take them out now while we're filming? Yeah. You can just about hear me. I can just about hear you. You're reading my lips though. I'm reading your lips, yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I've like you've lost me. I'm on. It's not something that you notice immediately, it's something that creeps up on you really. If you're out hill walking or something like that, people will, people will only listen to you for a very short span and they've, they've either forgotten that you can't hear or they've lost interest and gone away. And you get really annoyed when people shout at you as though you're stupid instead of deaf. I developed a frustration with everybody I consulted with in historically. I mean, Yvonne just cracked it for me. She put me in a whole new area. I can hear the cat purr, I can hear the clock behind me ticking. I met Robin early last year. Um, he's an existing hearing aid user. He suffered with hearing loss most of his life. So we went back to brass tacks really, um, did a full new audiometric assessment, took on board what levels of technology he needed in order to fulfill his requirements. Yvonne suggested uh, new hearing aids with the new technology. They weren't right immediately. She worked through all that, even through head office and through Scotland and the manufacturers, until she got them right. Robin nominated me on the strength, I guess, of what I, what I did in helping him, which was against independent audiologists all over Ireland. And I got a call to tell me that his nomination and the words that he had written had secured the award for me. I used to object to having my hearing aids and I used to take them out and wander. These, I seek to put them in. These are my little gems. And that's the first time in I don't know, decades, 